welcome po sa Star Tarot. I hope you are doing well. Ito po ang inyong intuitive tarot reading for the week of July 25th to August 1st. Please keep in mind po ng reading na ito ay for the collective. So, maaring mag-resonate sa inyo at maaring hindi. At kung hindi po totally mag-resonate sa inyo, you may consider watching your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. At baka nandoon na mensahe na para sa inyo. So, just... Uh, take what resonates with your situation and live what doesn't for someone else. Thank you. So let's call in your angels and your spirit guides para assistihan tayo um, at samahan tayo throughout this reading. Thank you. So kuha muna tayo ng oracle cards at tignan natin kung ano ang mga mensahe para sa inyo. Ano ang guidance, information, insights that are coming through for you for the week of July 25 to August 1st for Aries okay, yung first card ninyo ay destiny ang ganda acknowledge your mission align with your purpose you have gifts to share with the world so tinatawag na kayo ng inyong destiny Aries napakaganda so tinatawag na kayo to walk towards your destiny uh, meron kayong special mission dito sa earth plane at ngayon tinatawag na kayo to, to embrace that to step into uh, your life purpose so wow napakaganda so lahat ng bagay ay uh, nag align na and even the stars are aligning for you for you to lead you towards the path uh, to your destiny. Oh, Aries, this is such a beautiful energy. Meron daw kayong gifts uh, na isi-share sa mundo. Wow. So, tinatawag na kayo to embrace that uh, path para ma-share ninyo sa mundo ang inyong mga gifts ang iba sa inyo ay um, walking towards or being called to walk towards your spiritual journey so napakaganda naman ito so your next card is clarity banish the fog of illusion open your eyes to the truth remember the perfection of who you are so, magkakaroon kayo ng clarity, yung mga bagay na medyo malabo sa inyo, mga bagay na hindi nyo alam ang kasagutan hanggang ngayon, nagtataka kayo kung bakit nangyayari ang mga nangyayari, maaring nagtataka kayo, hindi nyo maintindihan kung bakit nararamdaman nyo yung mga uh, nararamdaman nyo ngayon, and at this point during this period magkakaroon na kayo ng clarity so maybe epiphanies uh, signs and synchronicities will be sent to you by the, your spirit team para malinawan uh, kung ano yung mga nagpapa ligalig ng inyong isip and I feel that that clarity as well is going to lead you doon sa sa daan papunta sa inyong destiny. Kasi maaring meron na kayong mga signs uh, na natatanggap ngayon. May mga signs na kayong nakikita. May mga intuitive messages and nudges kayong nararamdaman at nakukuha. Subalit hindi nyo yun maintindihan. Maaring napakalaki ng iyong question Kasi maaring merong malaking pagbabago sa mga nagaganap sa inyong buhay. It's because you are being called to your life mission. You are being called to walk towards your destiny. So, yung mga bagay na yon na nagpapagulo sa inyong isipan, maybe is yung mga bagay na, na maglilid sa inyo towards your life mission. And ngayon, it's beautiful energy kasi magkakaroon na kayo ng kalinawan. May iintindihan nyo na kung ano ang ibig sabihin ng mga nakukuha ninyong intuitive messages and nudges and yung mga guidance na yun. So, that's beautiful. So, ano pa ba ang para kay Aries? For July 25 to August 1st. Okay. So, yung tumalon 
Um, the card para sa inyo is gentleness. Strength is gentle. True kindness has wings. Love in action endures. So, be gentle with yourself is what's coming through here. Huwag kayong masyadong, uh, huwag niyong pahirapan yung inyong sarili, you know. So, tama to, maaaring you're getting harsh to yourself. Yung pinipiga niyo yung sarili niyo. Ano nga ba to? Bakit nga ba nangyayari sa akin ang mga bagay na to? So, be gentle to yourself is uh, what's coming through here. An important reminder for you na huwag niyong pilitin, intindihin ang mga bagay na nahihirapan kayong intindihin. Instead, listen to your intuition. Lift up to the spirit team everything that you don't understand. Leave it to them because for sure, they're gonna come and help you understand the things that you can't understand at this point. So, wag niyong pahirapan ang inyong sarili sa paghahanap ng kasagutan, sa pag, alam niyo yun, yung nag-worry kayo too much about the things na hindi niyo maintindihan sa inyong mga sarili ngayon. Perhaps, ganun ang ang nangyayari o ganun ang nagaganap sa, la, sa most of you uh, in the collective areas. So, be gentle to yourself and just Listen to your inner guidance and wag kang mag-alala because you will get the bottom of this. You will find out the the heart of your situation because meron tayong clarity. So, maaaring itong clarity na to, the messages will be coming from your spirit team through Uh, your intuition through epiphanies through signs and synchronicities or through your dreams so notice on your uh, dreams as well kung ano yung mga messages na nakukuha mo doon or sometimes you know the spirit are using people to send the messages to to you so maaring may makakausap kang mga kaibigan kakilala mentors uh, or ibang tao, like strangers, could be strangers as well na mai-encounter mo, na through your conversation with them, doon mo maririnig ang, ang mga kasagutan sa yung mga katanungan. So for some of you, that is what's going to to happen. Alrighty, so tignan natin, ano pa ang para kay Aries sa July 25 to August 1st. Ang bilis ng panahon, no? August na, parang kailan lang. <laughs> okay, so your next card is the Justice card. Wow! So, balance will be back in your life, Aries. Ang naririnig ko, you are going to be triumphant uh, in the week ahead. So, maaari nga iba sa inyo, may pinaglalaban. Yun ang malakas kong naririnig. Ang iba sa inyo, maaring may pinaglalaban. And kung ano man yung pinaglalaban ninyo, pagtatagumpayan nyo yan, you are going to claim your victory here. And that is going also to bring uh, the equilibrium back in your life. Maaring may mga imbalances sa buhay ninyo in the recent past or recently. And now, through this victory, may ibabalik mo ang, ang balance sa iyong buhay in, in different areas of your life. So, meron ng peace and harmony, magkakaroon ng katahimikan, at babalik na sa'yo ang, ang saya, babalik na sa'yo yung, yung kalinawan sa pag-iisip, the clarity card here. So, everything will be back in order. Everything will be fine once again. So, yeah, so that's what's uh, coming through here. So, what else for Aries? So, ang naririnig ko din na kung ano man yung mga uh, nagkukos ng confusion sa'yo or mga nagkukos ng inyong muddled mind, ay it's going to fade away now. Kasi talaga magkakaroon ka ng clarity dito. Makukuha mo ang kasagutan sa yung mga katanungan. So, that's very, very nice. So, your next card is the Ten of Cups. Wow! Happiness, success. This is also material success, financial uh, success, napakaganda. This is also domestic bliss, 
uh, masayang pamilya, masayang uh, relationship between husband and wife, and yung mga kapartner ninyo sa buhay, ang mga relasyon ninyo sa inyong mga anak is going to be cool, it's going to be easy, it's going to be happy. So, simple lang. Talagang punong-puno ng peace and harmony and love uh, dito sa Ten of Cups sa inyong pamilya. So, totoo nga, balanse. Ang balanse sa inyong buhay ay babalik na. So, ngayon, yung dinadala nitong peace and harmony is going to resonate sa lahat ng bahagi ng iyong buhay especially sa sa yung pamilya, sa yung kapamilya. So kung ano man yung mga hinihiling mo sa buhay, you can have it. Kasi 10 of cups na to, eh. ibig sabihin dumaan ka na dun sa 9 of cups which is wish fulfillment. So whatever you uh, wished for, uh, kuha mo na yon at this point. Kung ano yung gusto mo para sa sarili mo at sa iyong pamilya, sa iyong mga mahal sa buhay, meron ka na, nasa sa'yo na. Kaya, this is going to be a happy family. Be, this week is going to be full of happiness and contentment uh, para sa inyong Aries. That's beautiful. So, ano pa ba ang para kay Aries? July 25 to August 1st. Okay, so gustong tumalon. We have the Ten of Swords. So, Aries, meron tayong synchronicity dito. We have the Ten of Cups. And this one is another Ten, which is the Ten of Swords. So, maybe Ten is significant for some of you. So, I would suggest also that you uh, look up for the meaning of Ten, Ten. Kasi meron tayong Ten dito at meron tayong 10 dito so look for the meaning of 10 10 because that brings you um a special message as well a special guidance for most of you and something is going to end uh sa inyong buhay some something na hindi na nagsiserve sa buhay ninyo something na uh hindi nyo kailangan sa buhay mo and that is going to end you are going to put an end to that and one of that is yung muddled mind, yung confused mind, yung perplexed mind din yung that is going to end because you're going to get the balance, you're going to get the victory, you're going to get the clarity na kailangan ninyo para lahat ng mga hindi nyo naiintindihan ay malinawan at kayo'y makakapag-move on na. That clarity is going to clear the path towards your destiny. So, papunta ka na doon. Uh, it's going to be illuminated yung daanan mo papunta sa iyong destiny, sa inyong life mission is going to be illuminated this week at yun ang ang paraan, yung clarity ang paraan para mailawan kung saan ka talaga patungo and dito sa 10 of swords, sinasabi kung meron ka mang uh, pinagdadaanan sakit meron kang pinagdadaan ng struggles sa buhay mo it's coming to an end kasi tignan mo yung araw dito oh. yung araw dito malaki, sumisikat and tignan mo yung mga pins dito, wala nang nakatusok ba kung, kung titignan mo may wala nang nakatusok sa ulo niya, lahat na parang uh, parang nakaalis na sa ulo niya yung pagkakatusok. So, kung ano man yung pinagdadaanan mo, kung ano yung sakit, kung ano ang betrayal, it could be betrayal, it could be heartache, it could be heartbreak, it could be matinding pagsubok sa buhay mo na nagdala sa iyo ng matinding stress sa kakaisip, that is coming to an end now. And most of you, ang tingin ko dito, since yung mga needles dito, hindi na siya nakatusok uh, sa image nito, sa ulo niya. And the sun here is starting to, to rise. So, pataas na din kung anong pinagdaanan mong darkness in your life. That is going to be lifted. Nagsimula na siyang malift, kaya yung araw dito is starting to rise then. So, yung clarity makakatulong dito kasi maaaring naaapektuhan ka pa ng sakit na naidulot ng kung anumang pangyayari ito sa buhay mo. Kung ano man yan, whatever this ten of swords represents for you, that is coming to an end now. 
At yung, yung pagtaas ng araw dito, yun ang nagsisignal na yung bagong umaga, yung isang magandang optimistic na umaga is starting to to embrace you at yung yung darkness na uh, umaangat na it's starting to fade away so mawawala na yon maghihilom na ang mga sugat maiintindihan mo na kung bakit nangyari ang mga nangyari bakit dumating ka sa punto na nasaktan ka umiyak ka na betray ka na loko ka maiintindihan mo ng lahat yan ngayon and i feel for some of you nagsisimula ka ng mag kasi hindi mo man maintindihan lahat at this point pero somehow meron kang nararamdaman meron kang napifeel na kailangan mo nang mag you're not going to waste your time anymore to to be bagged down by whatever this ten of swords represents for you you are going to release that already tutuldukan mo na kung ano man yung sakit uh, na naidulot nito sa'yo, you are not going to allow yourself to be hurt even more by holding on to that pain. Kaya nare-realize mo na ngayon na you are going to release that pain para makausad ka na, para makapunta ka na sa isang happy family, sa isang uh, masayang buhay. Gusto mo ng masaya na lang ulit and you are going to release that pain you are going to liberate yourself from that heartache from that emotional baggage and that is beautiful kasi si, si Ten of Cups nandito, happiness happiness and joy ang dala niya, so yung energy niya, yun yun ang, ang babalot sa iyo in the week ahead and yayakapin mo na lang yung happiness sa buhay mo. You are going to choose to be happy and you're going to release the pain and the heartaches na naranasan mo uh, recently. So, that is really, really beautiful. So, ang reminder sa'yo, be gentle with yourself. Kaya yun din ang gagawin mo. That is the energy, that is the kind of energy na na yayakapin mo ngayong uh, darating na week. So, that's beautiful, beautiful. So, Aries, that's all I have for you for the week. I hope nakatulong ang reading na ito in some way. Please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you are new to my channel. And if you are already part of my Star Tarot family, thank you for supporting my channel. I wish you have a blessed and wonderful day. Love and light.